There's only one thing to do. Drop it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you a Robotnik is sexy. Pokemon battling experience. Holy cow. Holy wow. Holy sham wow. This is a uh, decently old random match up single match that I had, and it's being recorded at normal speed because it is that good of a match. And I don't think I've posted it before. Um, you can tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like I've uploaded this already, but I don't think I have, so. Let's just, let's just go, let's go with it. I'm gonna lead with Haxorus, he's gonna lead with Scizor, and I'm gonna switch out. Um, this is my uh, random matchup hail team. It has a Rotom Heat and a Haxorus, a Choice Bandit Haxorus on it. Um, half the time I just fool people into thinking I'm gonna use hail, and then I just destroy their asses with uh, Choice Bandit Max Attack Adamant Outrages. Uh, so I'm gonna resist whatever Scissor wants to do. I I uh, resist that bug attack nicely. I'm gonna go for overheat like a complete silly, silly head moron. Um, I probably should have used Volt Switch, predicting a switch out to something that could take it. But I was like, hey, what is he gonna do? I got Specs overheat. Specs overheat is so powerful, um, but it doesn't even do half to Gyarados. Um, but luckily, I have something. Uh, almost perfect for this situation. Focus Sash Gengar, I can take a water move, and if I don't get flinched by it, I will be able to fire off a Thunderbolt and take out the Gyarados. Luckily for me, he's gonna go for an Aqua Tail. Uh, that is really weird. Um, I guess Japanese people don't follow Smogon, but Waterfall is better than Aqua Tail, you know? I mean, I hate to be the one to break it to him, but if he had landed a flinch there, I would have just lost then. Um, but that's the beauty of Focus Sash in, in uh, random matchup singles. You can actually use it. Because uh, most people... Actually, some people do carry Stealth Rock in random matchup. I've seen it uh, a little bit. And now I'm going to go into Rotom since the Scissor it is, is out. The only reason I really carry Rotom Heat on my random matchup hail team is because every random matchup singles team has Scissor. Every single one. And Scissor tears giant holes in hail teams, uh, any hail team, random matchup or not, so uh, being uh, quad resistant to steel is going to be great. Uh, now he, he uh, I could pro I could kind of tell how he was using scissor, that he was just leaving him in as quote unquote death fodder, um, but he might have been uh, thinking I was going to over predict and go for the volt switch, and he just wanted to iron head whatever uh, or something. So, yeah, that, that could have been a thing. But, um, I am definitely gonna toast that bug with overheat and then, uh, serve as acting, acting death fodder to Terrakion. And now I'm feeling pretty good, because I've got Gengar on 1 HP, and I've got full health Haxorus, so I should have this thing in the bag. I'm gonna send out Gengar, go for the Destiny Bond, go for that delicious, s super delicious, um, gushingly sexy, uh, Destiny Bond, but he is gonna, oh, he's gonna taunt me. This Japanese guy, he's been around the RMU block, he, he knows that if there is a Focus Sash on, on a Gengar, there is more likely, more often there, than not, there is gonna be a Destiny Bond, uh, associated with that Focus Sash, so... I uh, could have gone for the double shadow ball, but I, I didn't see that taunt coming at all. Um, but yeah, taunt is something Trakion can learn. Uh, it's kind of a toss-up if you think taunt or substitute is better. So I should have this in the bag, right? I'm going to go for whatever, but critical hits. Critical hits. Uh, critical hits. Uh, and Haxorus' cry right here is kind of how I was feeling. That kind of groan cry it was like, rrr, rrr. so I had that, but crits are a bitch, and that is going to be kind of a theme um, with this match. This is this is a match I just had a couple hours ago, really, and this is a semi-finals NU tournament match against you know who it is, the 
Uh, ba 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 ba. It's the blue 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 the violent blue blue. Let me see. It's the blue classic one. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I had to. I had to, I had to find that on my computer because my memory is shit. Um, I thought he was gonna lead with uh, Regirock, so I led with Waylord, but it turns out he's gonna lead with Whirlipede. So I'm like, shit, if you're gonna we lead with the Whirlipede, I might as well get up my, up my Stealth Rocks, so I'm gonna go into Marowulf. And, um, I was thinking he was gonna attack here. It probably would have been a wiser move to go for the Stealth Rocks, since I do have Swallow. Swallow. Swallow is weak to Stealth Rock, and Stealth Rock really hinders Swallow obviously, um, but he's just gonna apt to go for the Drain Punch. Somehow in my gut I knew he was gonna attack me, so I'm gonna get off a super powerful Metal Burst. Super powerful Metal Burst. Um, and thinking he's gonna want to finish me off, I'm gonna switch into Happy Tree. And his health, I believe, is in the green now. Yeah, it's back in green, which is pretty bad. I'm, if it did stay in, he might even live the wood hammer, because Regirock is that bulky of a Pokemon. Uh, but he's going to switch out into Mistrevis, and I'm going to go for that. You know what it is. It's the wood hammer. Happy Tree's trademark. Actually, Torterra's trademark. Um, it's pretty much his trademark move. Every Pokemon has their own trademark move, so... Um, I'm going to masterfully predict that Will-O-Wisp coming. Um, I had a hunch that it would outspeed me. Um, I think it turns out there is a speed tie between us, uh, between max speed neutral Torterra and no speed investment Mistrevis. I think, I think there's a speed tie. That's what, that's what, um, that's what my opponent told me later, but, uh, so, yeah, but anyway, having a burned Swallow is gonna, is going to be very, very, very helpful because, um, because yes, um, and you know how crits are a bitch? I'm gonna get a crit, a crit, I'm gonna get a crit, I'm gonna get a crit him right here, and that is, that is the most advantageous crit ever. Um, he would have been at very low health, so killing him off with Stealth Rock or whatever wouldn't have been a problem, but the fact that he isn't able to get up his Stealth Rocks this match is going to be massively huge. Uh, anyway, uh, Garbodor, um, is out, thanks to U-Turn. And it's going to bring out his Absol since he gets the free switch in. And um, I was a little scared he was going to go for Sword Dance or Substitute or something, but he's just going to attack me outright. And I have the Focus Sash, which nobody runs Focus Sash, um, but in NU you can actually run Focus Sash pretty reliably as long as you use him as a lead or uh, prevent Stealth Rocks from getting up like I did so... so... Um, so... I don't know... advantageously with that critical hit. Um, so, Garbodor is actually going to land a kill with Gunk Shot, which is crazy. And then he's going to bring in Whirlipede. I was, in real life, in real time, I was kind of outweighing the options of either going for Spikes or Explosion. And I eventually figured that uh, even if he did switch into Mistrevis, um, it would be worth it, because it would give me a free switch into Swallow, as stupid as that sounds. Uh, because, as you're going to see here, he's actually going to get the Double Protect, and uh, this is actually pretty pretty important. Um, well, it isn't that important, but the fact that I'm burned instead of toxic means that his double protects aren't going to do as much damage to me. So the burn is actually kind of nice um, to have since, well, it's better to have when you're at low health um, because toxic will kill you off faster if, faster if you're going to stay in longer. But Swallow is not really meant to stay in for more than two turns, but because of the double protect, yeah, you know what I mean. So, Swallow is still at decent health, and because he didn't get to get up the Stealth Rocks, um, I am gonna be looking pretty good here. I'm gonna Ghost Curse that Licky Licky, because it is annoying, and it needs to die somehow. And, uh, he's gonna go for a wish, and um, the curse really isn't going to be that helpful, because he's definitely going to pass that wish straight away to anything he wants, and it is going to be his Rapidash, so he's going to heal the Stealth Rock damage, um, which sucks. It also sucks, because now my Pain Split doesn't do anything, and it also sucks because, well, uh, I never got the chance to get up my Toxic Spike since he had that Whirlipede, um, which is interesting. Uh, he had a couple Levitating... Uh, Pokemon, so the spikes weren't that great. He had a poison type, so toxic spikes weren't that great. So Garbodor actually does some offensive action, um, which is crazy. And uh, 
Mischievous is going to be uh, kind of an unusual death fodder. He's usually a really big key player, but um, I had not. He was the best thing to take the hit at the at this time. So, Gaylord the Waylord's going to come out. I'm not sure if he thought he would outspeed me, or just didn't know that Scarfed Waylord was a thing and never used. It's a pretty popular standard thing, um, and I'm loving it. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Um, it has been helping me out a lot. He's a lot more useful than Caracosta. I love Caracosta, but the fact that he's pure water makes him a lot more useful, um, first of all. So now now the battle is pretty much winding down. Um, I'm just going to toxic his guys, but um, it's not really going to do anything. The only good it's going to do is it's going to force him to go for a uh, heal bell. Um, he's the obviously the, the Dragon Tail, Wish Protect, Heal Bell, and, you know, to make matters worse, his last two Pokemon, no Heal Bell. Which I didn't really realize this at the time, but it's mischievous. You know, it's Heal Bell, so Toxic Stalling for the win is not an option I'm going to be able to do. Um, I'm going to be able to have... Uh, which is, this kind of sucks. It kind of leaves it, you know, it makes it harder because I don't want this to uh, wind up being a uh, PP stalling war. So I'm gonna have to try my hardest to actually do some damage to his Pokemon, and uh, that's where not having Stealth Rocks up is going to be massively helpful. And um, kind of subconsciously, I thought he did have Stealth Rocks up just because of the spikes damage. I kind of forgot. Um, so later on I'm actually going to throw out Swellow as, uh, Swellow, Swellow, I'm going to throw out Swellow as Death Fodder, um, but it will turn out that there were no Stealth Rocks that he got up, so Swellow's going to do stuff, but I'm getting ahead of myself, um, the battle is still carrying on in a sluggish way, Marwolf is just going to roar and Toxic and roar, and be kind of annoying, and stupid and dumb and repetitive. Uh, Licky Licky's gonna come out, I believe it's gonna go for, oh, oh, surprise, it's gonna go for Wish, I bet. Yeah, Wish, right there. Um, this is, this is really tricky, because I don't want to switch in on a Dragon Tail with Swellow, because if that happens, Swellow is gone. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Um, yeah, so, like, I was also thinking about switching into Torterra and attacking, but it was really, really difficult to think of the right time to switch. And, uh, I'm gonna switch right now, go into Happy Tree. As I was just saying, I was thinking about sending out Happy Tree at this point in the match, and he's gonna get his health up to full, which is annoying, and, uh, I'm still afraid that he's just outright faster than me, so I'm gonna go back into Swallow, predicting the will o -Wisp, but he's just gonna go for... Um, heal Bell, so forcing him to go for Heal Bell actually does uh, speed up the match a lot more, uh, which is which is nice. So I'm going to go for that Suicide Brave Bird. It turns out this team, half of them have suicide suicidal tendency attacks, like Swellow killing itself and giving me a free switch is actually giving me tons of momentum, so like these suicide things are, are good, like I've got Ghost Curse, I've got Explosion, and of course there's the Brave Bird Suicide Kamikaze, and uh, he's just going to go for the Pointless Protect. It is very pointless at this point, um, but you know, it, I, I don't really care. Um, I'm going to go for that Wood Hammer, and it is indeed going to take out Licky Licky, and his last Pokemon is Mistrevious. And, um, I am surprisingly going to attack first, and like I was saying earlier, that must have been due to, um, a speed tie. Um, so he's gonna get the Will-O-Wisp off. Unfortunately, it is going to be enough to take me out with some burn damage. Um, but it's okay, because I got Scarf Waylord, and, uh, his health is pretty low, and I'll just go for the Surf. I've got two water attacks, just in case my health is low, so I'm going to go for the Surf, take out Mistrevious, and that was one really classy, awesome, never used match, the Blue Classic 1, or Vincenzo, 
or whatever you want to go by. He's actually um, one of the tournament organizers for this tournament. This was a Facebook tournament, and it's it's actually the I mentioned it in a different black and white upload, I believe. And yeah, it was, I think it was the last one I did. But yeah, this is this is my match that I just had hour, like three hours ago or something for the semifinals. So now I'm actually in the finals for this uh, silly Facebook and you tournament which I'm surprised it still exists like the uh, the minute I signed up I thought the tournament was gonna dissolve because half the time when I join a tournament just you know there's just a lot of responsibilities involved when you uh, are a tournament organizer so like dissolving them is pretty commonplace but uh, that's gonna be enough of my rambling if you enjoyed this leave a like or a comment or something all right read read bye